last race on day one of week five is the Amlin Chase here at Ascot. So we've got a few big feature races here from Ascot for you, but the last one you're getting today is this grade two, two mile, three furlong race. Cassable, not Craig Allen, Beat Your Wings, Leon Van Rensburg, Rosnitha Nina, D. French, Sonic Khan, Jim Murray, The Red Baron, Joshua Sutherland, Viper Strike, Paul Rhodes, Fountain Springs for Darren Thompson, McLaren, Paul Rhodes, and Split Over, Spilt Over, I should say. Don't even know the name of my own horse. Are off and running, and it's Spilt Over that is going to have that early lead. Back over its more favourite trip after a couple of poor runs since winning a group race on week one over in the States. When they get over that next fence, spilt, spilt, spilt over. Really, I'm struggling with my own horse's name here. Spilt over and Roseneath Nina uh, battling each other for the lead up front. And it's Roseneath Nina that's come out on top of that battle, uh, winning uh, by putting a good few jumps and winning a couple of lengths uh, out of spilt over. And it's a couple of lengths back then to Cassable Knock, who's gone off the odds on favourite here today, really well fancy Cassable Knock after a really good win last time out for Craig Allen, the black horse racing in the green and gold hoops uh, on the outside, as they come over the next spilled over decides not to jump and just decides to just run straight through that fence and ploughed through it and is lucky that the jockey's still on board and some of the jumping from my stable has been better than it was last week, uh, but still sketchy at times so it's spilled over on the outside of Rosneath Nina. Cassable knock back in third. Rosneath Nina was one that nodded on landing there. Not a great uh, jump from that one. And Beat Your Wings has just been beaten along for a few strides there by the jockey. Uh, touch out pace there at the rear of the field for the champion trainer. Uh, who's looking to get a really good feature race, great race on the board after going so close in the Lancashire chase with G.I. Joe and up on the catwalk, so spilled over, now has the lead again, and then join itself out in front, uh, trying to recover after that early mistake, and a bad one it was, has a lead of a good few lengths over Roseneath Nina Fountain Springs, racing on the rail on the inside of the favourite, Cassable Knox Sonic Khan for Jim Murray on the outside of that one, and McLaren's just in behind these, one of two runners for Paul Rhodes in the race today, as they get over the next, and the leader jumps it better this time, and the Red Baron is the one that's been relegated to the rear of the field, the Red Baron has, uh, if I'm correct, ran a couple of times over hurdles so far this season, but is over the over the larger obstacles here today for Joshua Sutherland, who is really at a purple patch this week and is absolutely flying his stable. But the Red Baron is looking uh, unlikely to continue that streak for him in this particular race. It's been ridden along for a few strides and is actually looking quite detached at the rear of the field and the jockey's still getting hard to work on that one. So it's spilled over on the inside of Roseneath Nina as they come over the next. The front two attacked it and the pressure that applied to the chase and pack meant that Sonic Khan made a bit of a mistake and that one's now dropped back behind Cassable Knock McLaren and Fountain Springs is one that's just travelled really nicely and jumped really well just in behind this leading pair as we're into the final seven furlongs here at Ascot in the Amlin Chase. Spilled over on the inside of Roseneath Nina. These one have been to and fro and battling for the lead throughout. Each has put in a pretty bad mistake as well. Other than that, the jumping has hasn't been too bad. Spilt over's gone. There you go. Commentator's curse. Uh, Roseneath Nina now left out uh, on, on his own in front. Fountain Springs, a couple of lengths behind that one on the inside of the favourite Cassable Knock. Sonic Khan in fourth behind that one as they come over the next. And McLaren is in the black the black horse for Paul Rhodes is trying to get going on the outside and beat your wings. Still being ridden from the rear of the field and has got four furlongs uh, to try and make it a lot of ground on these leaders as does the Red Baron. So the two, two of the top stables have got a lot of work to do to start picking off these horses and Cassable knock the favourite. The odds on favourite is really starting to struggle as well as Roseneath Nina kicks for home. Three furlongs left to go. It's just to hit a flat spot, the favourite, but is now starting to pick up again. McLaren, Sonic Khan and Fountain Springs all starting to get going. A really good jump there from Fountain Springs means that that one's eaten into the lead of Roseneath Nina and is travelling up strongly on the bridle. McLaren's starting to make a move down the outside as well. So we're inside the final two furlongs. Fountain Springs gets going now and hits the lead after travelling powerfully throughout. Cassable knock the favourite is now starting to get going the jockey confidently took a little look before taking off at that final flight for Fountain Springs and now kicks clear going into the final furlong we're at the half furlong marker and nothing is challenging Fountain Springs it's going to win the Amlin chase really comfortably the favourite Cassable knock staying on well enough in the second but got going too late as did beat your wings that finishes third for Leon Van Rensburg Sonic Khan fourth for Jim Murray
Yeah, Fountain Springs won that really easily in the end. Travel powerfully throughout. Just looked a danger throughout that race for Darren Thompson. A really good performance. Cassable knock. Rated some £47 better than that one. Uh, struggled to go with it, but the way it wouldn't have done it any advantages. Uh, did, it would, it, you know, might have made the difference there off level weights for that Craig Allen's ri rider. So it'll be happy enough with that. And beat your wings in third for Leon van Rensburg. 